So if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking of moving to Morningside Heights in Manhattan. Morningside Heights is technically kind of like West Harlem, but from a real estate perspective, it is actually its own neighborhood. But some people actually do refer to it as West Harlem. So that's something you should be aware of as well. I do have to say it has a very different feel than Central Harlem because West Harlem is very, very quiet and kind of picturesque depending on where you go. I'm not saying Central Harlem isn't picturesque, but it's just a very, very different feel because it's much, much, much quieter. So you might recognize the neighborhood because it is actually where Columbia University is. So there's a lot of students in the neighborhood, but not only just like your average college student age, there's also a lot of grad students as well because of the programs that they offer there. So another thing that is very popular in the neighborhood is Riverside Park, which is also stretches down to the Upper West Side as well, but you can enjoy the park from Morningside Heights as well. So it is picturesque. I wouldn't say it's the most picturesque neighborhood in all of Manhattan, but it is very nice and it kind of has like a cozy neighborhood vibe feel to it. So there's a lot of older apartments there. Definitely mostly everything in that neighborhood is going to be pre-war. Now Central Harlem or just like the main Harlem is going to have a lot more new development than Morningside Heights is. Morningside Heights is definitely going to be more of pre-war type of buildings and also a good amount of walk-ups in Morningside Heights. You're not going to see a ton of doorman buildings in Morningside Heights. I would say from my perspective with Morningside Heights at least, I don't think there's any nightlife at all in this neighborhood. There are some restaurants and some bars there that maybe some people might argue that are open late at night. I'm not even sure. I haven't really spent a lot of time in this neighborhood at night, but I have spent a lot of time in this neighborhood during the day because I have worked a lot in this neighborhood. So one thing that I do hear from a lot of people who are moving to Morningside Heights or have lived in Morningside Heights, it is far from Manhattan. It does take a while to get into Midtown Manhattan or Downtown Manhattan. Now it is bordering the Upper West Side, so you can easily get there. And depending on where you're living in Morningside Heights, you can definitely walk to a good portion of the Upper West Side or just easily take a train there. So some of Morningside Heights you can only access from the local trains, which definitely makes it a lot more annoying than neighborhoods where you can access them by an express train where you can get very, very quickly to Midtown and Downtown. If you're on a local, you're gonna have to switch to an express train at some point, which a lot of people come complain about with that neighborhood. The subways definitely are a little bit limited in Morningside Heights. However, you could walk to the Upper West Side or Central Harlem to catch one of the main train lines. So I hope this helped you learn about Morningside Heights. I would love to hear about your experiences with the neighborhood or if you would ever even consider living in Morningside Heights. So as always, please share your thoughts in the comments.